Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today we are doing a very very special episode of Completionist Crafter. The last two, it is in fact episode 69. Haha, <laughs> get the jokes out of the way, there we go. It's been a while and today we are happily crafting the Wisteria Villa which is from the Scroll of Fortune. You do have to have the Scroll of Fortune bought and you need, I can't exactly remember how many, but it is probably more than 2,732. The exact number will be on screen eventually. But yeah, you need that. It's Scroll of Fortune, only av available during the Spring Scroll of Fortune. I don't know if they're going to bring that back for next year's Spring Scroll of Fortune, but for 2020 Spring, it is available. So yeah, obviously, I have the Wisteria Villa, so there's not really any point in me crafting it, but I'm going to do it just because i got to craft everything. So yeah, I got absolutely flamed in the last time I did one of these videos because you can buy it for gold, as with the last. But yeah, you can either buy it with crowns, which I would not recommend, or gold. Um, and same with the Dragon's Fjord, which we crafted last time, so you can go and check that video out as well if you haven't already. But yeah, so we do already have one of these, but we're going to craft it anyway. This is what our second house that we're actually crafting. As always, on screen is everything you will need and require. And I'm just going to quickly go through most of the reagents now. So Braided Vine, you need three of those. Um, usually you get them around Mirage area. Some bosses drop them. There might be some in the bazaar. I'm not 100% sure. I just generally have a couple of them. Wheelbarrows, we did a video on that a couple weeks ago. In fact, it might be a week and a bit ago. But yeah, that has a video on it. Stone blocks, uh, the Athenium is a great place to go and get that or the Shadow Palace. Short Wisterian potted ferns. These are the ones that you can buy from Petunia. I forgot the last name, but Petunia in the housing shop in Wisteria. And Stonebridge, we had a video on that just not too long ago. So you can also go and watch that to figure out how to craft that. And tree fountains, there's quite a few bosses in Avalon that drop them. I farmed Viridian the Vile in High Road, which is a side quest boss, but there is a whole lot of other bosses that you can go and check on the wiki. You can also find this in the bazaar, but it is quite rare. Small ferns, you can only get these either from the bazaar or farming Prince Alakane's Swift Arrow. So those are the two bosses you need. And you need two Amber, which I would recommend King Parsley is just to passively get them. Yeah, and anyway, we're just going to create this. You can only have one of each castle. This is a great start. We're going to pretend we created it. <laughs> We're going to pretend we crafted it. But yeah, that, that would be what would happen if you actually crafted it and you'll get this house. So if you ever want this house and want to craft it, which I would probably not recommend, it is quite difficult to craft, you can get it. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to run around in case you haven't seen this, but this is my house that I lo love to use. It's great. Huge area as well, which is really cool. So yeah. You would be able to craft it if you didn't have one already, which I do, because I think it's one of the best houses in the game. Obviously, you can disagree with me on there, but I would love to know what your favorite house in the game is, whether it be the Wisteria Villa, the Red Barn Farm, whatnot, whatever whatever you think is the best, let me know down in the comments below. But if you wanted to craft this, you can. We're not going to go down there. We're going to go inside just because I don't usually go inside in videos, so we'll just show you the inside but, but yeah, I have changed the wallpaper down here just recently because I got something random and decided to. But yeah, basically, it's, it's a really cool house. There's a wee little courtyard out here, and then there's just a whole bunch of other rooms. Those are my skeleton keys. Just ignore them. Too many stone ones for other videos in the future. But yeah, basically just rooms connecting to the other rooms around the other side of the house. And in the middle, a great big courtyard where I've put the spiral thing and the anniversary statue. And, you know, you can decorate it however you would want. But, yeah, that is all for today's episode. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you already subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.